Hello Pilots and welcome to Season 4 of Flight Academy, brought to you by Out of Art Gaming. As always, my name is Phil. Full format rules and lists are in the description below, and you can see all the lists in the video linked in the top right hand corner of the screen now. But once again joining me we have... And my name is Fraser, and it's great to be back Phil. Uh, welcome this back is Fraser. my game. It is indeed, it is you versus the other B-Wings of Connors, which is the more conventional B-Wing list of the Stress Boys who have been Big having a problem. Them. Yeah. They've been having an interesting time of it, but let's see. Can your interceptors make the most of their speed? Because B-Wings are a tough proposition to come up against for... I genuinely hope so. I can't quite remember how this one panned out in fairness. But in all honesty, it has been a bit of a while. I mean, we we did all these games back in March. Oh, wow, yes. yes. Yeah. So at, at, the point of record, at the point of recording this, this was about a month ago now. So we're, yeah. we're working our way through these games. But it is nice to see Tie Interceptors on the board. I love a Tie Interceptor. Me I keep meaning to get my Interceptors out again. It's been a while since I've actually flown them. So, just love the, the, the classic Empire ace ships, interceptors, and V1 inquisitors. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful yeah. bits of kit. I mean, especially, I mean, the interceptor, you, you got the new second sister, which is a fantastic pilot on the interceptor. You, you get so much choice as well with like the original pilots you've got, the second system being brought in, the Sky Strike yeah. Academy pilots. I mean, you've got two non-original pilots in here with yeah. Vault and second sister, so... Vault was always one of my favourites. I, I know a lot of people never quite got to grips with him, but I really like him. And on a particularly good day, he doesn't always have the best of days. Yeah. But on a good day he can do quite quite well. I will admit I'm in that sort of camp of players that never really I never really got Vault. I for me there was always other options. I mean, for the time yeah. scepter, I I'd immediately be looking at Soon Tiffel or Second Sister. Gideon is really good in there as well. Oh, yeah. And you've got like Turfanir, so and Again, also Sienna Ree. I really like Sienna Ree. Like, once you get over her, if she destroys something, she gets a stress. Once you can get over that and realise, well, actually, she's I-6, she's going to yeah, weaken just, the energy. Yeah, it's just an I-6 interceptor at the end of the day. You can't yeah. really turn her down. And she's going to weaken the enemy for someone else to come in and mop up. That's where it works good. But yeah. these B-Wings are coming in hard and fast at you. It kind of playing aggressive, and I certainly think it's a good tactic. He's got a good spread there as well. Like, he's got a nice, like, arc window there, of, like, mm. to catch you. So. He's going for the barrel roll, which is, again, classic B Weave. So he, he's obviously doing it slightly different there to be able to fit it in. So he's, he's yeah. gone back to the front, which is the equi which is is the equivalent of his, if he'd gone and done that. So that would work out the same, but that yeah. gives him... He's gone target lock and stress there. So looking for the double tap and he's got auto blasters and it's mm. 10 numb with the 10 numb with the stress is really good i mean the way both of them interact with stress is actually quite interesting braylon getting the re-rolls versus tendum spending them as a focus both are really good i mean i like tendum spending it because that way you can get rid of the stress but at the same time braylon keeps that stress and that re-roll is there for everything so if he's double tapping he gets it for both if he's defending, he gets it for that as well. So it has a lot of utility. Yeah. I'm currently actually quite happy with my play so far because I, I did a two forward there and then managed to avoid 
and then boost forward to the right, avoiding both the arc, or not both, but avoiding what uh, arc? Raylan's yeah. arc. And I think I'm getting um, gas cloud cover. You should, it looks like you should be gas cloud cover, and you might unfortunately still just, yeah, you are in range of that range to mm -hmm. bubble blasts with a where you've just checked the range from Vault, that sort of seals it, but yeah. you are going to get a shot in, I believe that's at Braylon. Uh, so yeah, going to the closest is always the... Ooh! I mean, he may as well spend that focus to avoid one and just take a shield. Yeah. But that's not I mean, that too bad. A... No, it wasn't a great defensive roll, but yeah, I'll take it. It's the auto blasters is coming behind us that we've got to worry about, isn't it? Yeah, because the auto blasters from behind is gonna be it's not gonna be great, I'm not gonna lie. No. And he's got that he's essentially got that focus behind it with the stress as well. Oof. Which I mean, you spend it yeah. there, three three hits and a crit. You are gonna have Four evades with the force out of the Vata. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, is that how this went? Oh goodness me. That second sister wiped. Oh no, it was an ion top. Oh. Oh, I've oh, okay. missed it. That was an ion top. <laughs> Got away with that one. Just <laughs> also makes sense why it was four dice at range two, but still, ouch. I mean, you do panic a little bit when you see that many dice coming at you with a ship yeah. like this. It's not got the health to combat a proton torpedo if that had been a proton torpedo. No. And see, that's more like it. There's the evade, yeah. But Ion as well, that's not good because mm. now Connor knows exactly where you're going to be. It does. Well, pretty much where you're going to be. Obviously, you've got the bank in there, but he's going to be able to turn in and basically catch you regardless. Yeah. And and none spent the stress. Exactly. So I reckon two hard from Braylon and one hard from Ted is what we're going to see. I can't see any option, any option that's not going to be that good, if that makes sense. There's the two. Do we see yeah. Target Lock failed Barrel Rock? Just the Target Lock. One Ooh. bank. I actually prefer that. Followed up by a barrel. Okay, followed up by a barrel roll. I'm assuming it's the target lock barrel roll, just. Yeah. Oh, and that is bullseye as well, so that will be marksmanship, auto blasters, target lock, his weird. She's, crazy not, getting a, she's not getting a break that she needs. No. That is less than ideal for Second Sister there, because she's gonna get. She's gonna get shot twice. Yeah. I mean, Volk could quite easily. Have... I mean, Volk could quite easily avoid that, but it's not it really him we're worried about. We want our force user to come in and do some nasty. I mean, it all depends on if Volk wants to be crazy and barrel roll in and see if he can just take some get some damage in. But I think it's probably going to be better to. Uh... You could offer him up as the bait. I don't think Connor would take the bait, to be honest. No, he wouldn't. If you've got the option of taking Second Sister off the board, who is five points rather than four? Precisely. This is the Braylon shot, I'm guessing. Yes. Rerolling five four patrol. Four five patrol, yeah. Come on, dice. Oh, not 
not bad. Do you spend the force or do you spend the focus? Force, I think, at this point. Spend the force, that's pretty good. So we're still. Oh, this is the one, though. Oh, auto blast is from. Braylon. Yep. Fine. Now this is the dangerous one. Yep. Range two, just, but bullseye for marksmanship. We're probably going to have a minimum one crit. Bend that stress. Yeah. Turn it to a crit. Yeah, so two hits yep. and a crit. Mm. That is the crit going through. No, she's gone. No. That's not enough. Taking her off. No, no, that was not. That was not. Um, not great for Seb, uh, second sister. Didn't really get an opportunity to do any, anything she wanted to do. Sadly, she got caught early on with that ion. And yeah. that ion was actually massive because it just it let Connor know exactly what sort of area you were going to be to be able to catch you. Yeah. And now these B wings have got such a good turnaround that they've basically gone right one ship down, turn around, catch the next one. Yeah, it's very when you're not going fast, it's very difficult to to not not be where you need to be, basically. And, yeah, the Ion just couldn't come back from that, basically. In a nutshell. It's a very tough one to deal with. It's, it's hard to get out of that. Double tapping B-Wings are just really, really good. Um, there, there's no there's no beat around the bush with it. No, not exactly. And I don't, I don't blame Connor for taking them because they're bulky, they get lots of shots. Yeah. Yes, they've only got the one evade, but they don't really care. And with these two, they, they've got rerolls and focuses all over the place. So. The annoying thing is, one interceptor's not really going to fight off two B wings. It, it's. Sad to say, it's just not got the the staying power. Yeah, it it is very tough. I mean, what what you've got to do is, I think the thing that the the interceptors kind of lack is that target lock. Yeah. Um, because if they were, if they had a target lock and they could get that lock in, um, then have a focus at the same time, or if they both had the force, for instance, I mean, it's similar. Obviously, I, I came up against these B wings in my Delta Sevens, and I was able to avoid the avoid quite well a lot of the double tapping, and that's where you've got to try and do it. But it's not easy to avoid that double tap. No. If they want, they can step on the gas, but then they can again. They can basically do do that handbrake turn and just flip around so quickly. I mean, right now, this is... You've got very limited options here. Like, Connor has basically pinned you in really well. Yeah, I mean, the only real option looking at that, and I don't think... No, we've gone three bank in, haven't we? We're essentially hoping that we could get a shot, but... You'll you'll get a you'll get a shot, but you've got nothing to modify it with. No, and you're gonna get shot back at least once. I think you might have just got out of ten numbers arc though. Yeah, which is the only saving grace there for you. Oh, that's not a bad hit. Hit crit. I mean, I'll take it. That shield's down. Uh, just the one, unfortunately. No, just, that. yeah. Need to evade. Returning that the like Two hits and a crit. I think... Yeah, 
think we're okay. Oh. I don't know, it's hit crit. What is the crit? Oh, is that... I don't think it's... I think that it's... Was it's oh, yeah. That was it, because I knew, I knew I'd got... I got damaged engine a couple of times that evening. And yeah. really screwed me over, because they need their big hard turns, their big three. And they yeah. don't want to be stressed when they're doing it. And here we go. Here is the one talent. Yeah. Such a good manoeuvre on those it's, B wings. Yeah, insanely powerful move. And I think that is a bump there. Yeah. But or that's not, not a bad actually. thing. I don't, I don't think that's a bad thing at all. Because now Connor, both his ships are facing the right way. Facing the right way again, both have a stress, they've got the target lock on you. I think Definitely. the best yeah. you, the best you can it. do is get out of oh no, K turn. No, I I didn't think he was gonna commit. I think the only yeah. way I don't have a choice to not be offensive, I don't think, because there's no way I can I've got nothing that I can put in while Volt could recover. So take the four K. Hope that he doesn't go that way, but he has. Yeah. See if you can get half point onto. Only one, sadly. I think you're right. I think what I would have. I never really got a use of. Or I haven't had a use of Dead Eye Shot up to this point. I think I would have been wiser if I'd had the targeting computers. Yeah. And there we go. That is yeah, sadly unfortunate. Those B those B wings are tough, and again, we saw them just turn on a dime. So they they have that they have that ability to basically negate the speed of those interceptors. They so did, yeah. B, B wings are really well. Yeah, he did absolutely fantastic there. And again, it was just unfortunate. Second sister getting ionized so early was. The first nail in the coffin, really, unfortunately. Yeah, well, there was there was not a lot coming back for that, sadly. Anyway, well flown by both pilots. So, well, yeah, well flown there, Fraser. And thank you for joining me for commentary on this one. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. And guys, don't forget, still got plenty of action to come. So, do like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you next time.